About as good as ready as ever. Well, today on MC Motorsports here. Oh, right my. Gonna I need my trailer this weekend. That's a pretty good trip. Well, I happen to have an idiot problem, and that idiot problem might have messed up my fender. You can come in here and show this side. Well, that idiot happens to be me, if you watch one of my previous videos. I kind of messed up my fender with the tractor and when the charger was sitting on here. So, to make it look a little better today, I think we're going to try straightening it out. So... Normal people, for some body work, would get out the small body hammers and stuff. Well, there ain't ever anything normal about me, so. Bigger hammer. Bigger hammers. I can't find my good sledge. I don't know where that went. Maybe the dog took it. Boom, dog. Did you take it? Anyway, we'll see if we can knock it out a little bit and straighten it out. I think I'm going to need the bigger hammer. Job dogs. Yeah, I wouldn't need a bigger hammer. Man, I wish I could find my sledge. Hmm. We got another plan. You can stop that for a minute. Your finger out of the way. I need another tool since it's just a trailer. I don't need to be all finesse and like and making it all perfect. I think I got to stand up here though. That way I can throw myself off. Well, that ain't too bad. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. <laughs> I'd really like to get that thing out, though. I got it. Come over this side, lizard. Patience is key. I have none. All right. I think if I bring the tractor over sometime and just pick this corner up. Because I can't do it by hand. Good enough for me. Nope, 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 nope. Missed a spot. Damn rookie. I gotta go in there, side lizard. Works for me. Now I can use it this weekend. Throw a little paint on there, it should be brand new. A nice big red truck I'd like to normally take. When I'm pulling the trailer, because the trailer is not too light in itself. I think it's about 2,500 pounds. I have a rogue dog. Come on, boon dog. Come on, get out of there. Rogue dog who likes to get in and enjoy trips herself. But anyway, I'm going to end up having to put a new trailer plug on. As you can see, this one has seen better days. A little corroded, missing the brake pin. This thing originally had the towing package on it, but as you can tell, that was factory, but it's a little seen better days. So I got a new plug I got to put on it. And I don't have brake controller, so I did the right thing, or what most anybody that's cheap would do. Because like I said, it's not the rig I normally like to tow with. I went to the junkyard, hunted around for an hour or so, Found me the plug that fits into the factory harness. That was in one vehicle. And in our vehicle at a different junkyard. Be surprised, it's hard to find these brake controllers at junkyards. But I found our one and 
since I didn't quite have the right tools with me, I didn't have any tools with me. <laughs> so I did what most people would probably do. I just ripped the whole panel off and ripped it. <laughs> it came out of a four though, so it don't matter. I'm not going to use the panel anyway. I just wanted the controller. So I hope it works. I spent like 10 bucks on this and a dollar on the plug. So it should work. It saved me probably 80, 90 bucks. So we'll mount this underneath the dash here. We'll get it plugged in. And then we'll get the other piece wired on. I shall show you where that's gonna plug in at. The wire ends up plugging in. You see that blue clip right there? That is the factory plug. The one at Dakota has a towing package at least. So I'm not gonna bore you with that those details. Because I'm not even probably gonna do this today. I gotta go in and mess with dinner. So I'll probably mess with it tomorrow or knowing me it'll be Saturday morning, you know, the day I'm supposed to use the truck in the morning. Then I'll go putting it on and then be scrambling around because some wire is gonna be messed up and I'll be tracing it. As part of my luck, you think sooner or later I learn my lesson and I do it in advanced. Nah, there's no fun in that. But you'll like the reason that I'm doing this. Because I'll bring you along this weekend. And you get to see what kind of toy I pick up. I, sh I can show you at least this much. It's originally it's a one-owner vehicle. It's in West Virginia. I got to go down and pick it up. I already went down, looked, paid for it, did the whole nine yards. A one owner vehicle, 1963. It's the original title. So I don't think it's probably run in 50 years. Once you see it, you'll understand. But we're going to try to get it going. But that's why I got to get the trailer ready and I got to get the truck ready. And also, I got to get a plate from my dad because the plate I had on the trailer, which was a permanent plate, somehow I had the cheap mount, which was plastic. <laughs> it was uh, some Chinese plastic, and that broke off. So that plate's been MIA for the last six months. Can't find the registration, so we can't order a new plate yet. So I'm just going to borrow another plate that's out from, well, he messaged me earlier from 2011 and 2012. Said scratch the sticker off and call it good. So that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna have to play within the rules here with speed limit and stuff. So I'll let you know how it goes. One more thing. I gotta get it ready for the road trip. And we like to keep things as cheap as we can on this channel. So well, from when I bought this truck. My visor had a crack. And then the other week, it broke off. I still have yet to wash this truck from when I bought it. So, black duct tape. It's 200 mile an hour tape, so it should work for a rain visor. Oh, and this is the good stuff, too. This is Gorilla Tape. That way, when you start getting on them highway speeds, you stop hearing the whistling going on. Now, we'll put a piece on the back. I really should have cleaned that off. Just put more tape on later. <laughs> Since it's sticky on the back side. Look, double the strength. It's probably doubled the price of that wind visor, or that rain deflector. Uh oh, I'm out of 200 mile an hour tape here. It's cool though, I didn't pay for that one either. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. It's brand new. It'll outlast, it'll outlast the rest of the visor. <laughs> and it'll keep it from breaking anymore. 
And from a distance, you ain't even gonna tell if that's duct tape. Good enough for me. <laughs> Let's make sure the window closes right. I don't think I got it in the track. Pretty sure it didn't. Nope, that's perfect. Good to go. We're good, lizard.